Hi, I'm Karen with the Seasons of Living. Have you been looking for the perfect recipe for sourdough crackers? Well, today on this video, I'm going to show you how to make simple, healthy, homemade sourdough crackers. To make these crackers, you're going to need a sourdough starter. I fed my sourdough starter last night with half a cup of water and a scant cup of organic unbleached flour. A little tip that I use when I'm dealing with sourdough starter or any kind of batter is I always dip the cup, the measuring cup in water, and that'll keep it from sticking. So there's a little, a little tip. One cup of sourdough starter. Look at that, it's amazing, works great. Okay, you're going to need a cup of einkorn flour, So today we're using einkorn flour. All flours are different and have different levels of hydration. So you're just gonna have to adjust the amount of flour you add based on what the age of the flour and what type. So we're putting a cup of einkorn flour. I'm only gonna put a fourth a teaspoon of salt because I sprinkle salt on top of my crackers. And we're gonna use a quarter cup of olive oil. Or you could use tallow, butter, coconut oil, but I like olive oil, sourdough crackers. Okay, so we're just get, we've got one cup of sourdough starter, one cup of einkorn flour, a fourth a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter cup of olive oil. Okay, let's just mix it. See what kind of dough we end up with. I usually have to use more einkorn flour in recipes. So let's just add a little at a time. We're just looking for a smooth dough that we can roll out. We don't want it to be too sticky. Okay, I think I'll just kinda use my hands a little bit. I like to wet my hands as well. Okay, it's gonna need more. bit more. Maybe a tablespoon at a time. See? Maybe a little bit. still a little sticky. So that's just add maybe a little bit more. So I would say maybe we, we might have used almost a cup and a half of the einkorn flour. But I like, I think you should always start with just one cup. And usually one cup is about right when I'm using any kind of other flour. Okay, I think a really, really pretty dough. Look at that. Okay, so what I will do is I'm just going to leave it at room temperature for maybe six to eight hours or overnight. And then I probably, I, I just have, I'm so busy, I just have to, to bake the crackers when I have time. So I'll probably let them set out a few hours, maybe six hours put a lid on the bowl and put it in the refrigerator and just bake the crackers whenever I have a chance. We're ready now to roll out our sourdough crackers. They've been fermenting and soaking for about six hours. And so let me show you the process of how to roll them out. I use two different ways to roll them out. Sometimes I will roll them out on a sheet of unbleached parchment and it depends on what surface I'm using. If I'm using my granite countertops, I usually will use this. And if I'm using my butcher block, I will just, let me set this aside for a minute. I'm gonna show you both ways. 
I just put a little olive oil on my hands and on the area. Roll. Okay, here's our dough. We used einkorn flour and I'm gonna half it because I'm gonna put rosemary in the other half. I just use a wooden dowel to roll it out. We want it to be very thin. If you want crisp crackers. If you want them to be kind of puffy, then I guess leave them a little thicker. My, I put a cookie sheet upside down. And we're going to move the dough. I want to use some rosemary, so I'm just going to put a little bit of, got some scissors, so I'm just going to snip a little rosemary right on it. Because I like rosemary olive oil crackers a lot. And by the way, while we're, you're rolling your crackers out, turn your oven, preheat your oven to 350. Okay, I think that is really thin. I don't think I can get it much thinner. And if you let your dough, this dough is just the dough we made today and it is not chilled. It just has been setting out, but if you let your dough leave it in the refrigerator overnight, it is easier to roll. Okay, so now we're going to cut it with our pastry cutter. Oh, got to put the salt on. Makes it, it's a lot easier to put it on first. This is Malden Flake Salt. We use these crackers in the how to make a charcuterie board that I made a video over. You'll see these crackers and they are just wonderful. I can't think of, you know, you so much better than anything you can buy in a package. And when you buy the gourmet artisan crackers these days, they are super expensive. And this is so easy. All of these. Here's just a little trick. I just put the cookie sheet upside down. And I just slide it onto the cookie sheet, just like that. Okay, we're going to take these and put them in the oven, and I'll show you um, how I do that. So we'll be back in a second. We just have rolled out the two sets of crackers. This is the plain one without rosemary. And I have an upside-down cookie sheet that is warming. And I'm just going to slide this parchment on it, just like that. Super easy. And then on the back, I have my rosemary crackers. And I'm going to, I have a, a stone that's in my oven. I'm just gonna slide the crackers on that stone. Just like that. Well, we're back. We baked our einkorn sourdough crackers. I think they turned out beautiful. They're so crispy. These are the, the rosemary sourdough. And these are the plain sourdough. We use the einkorn flour. I think you should make these. I think you would be so impressed with them. They're elegant enough to go on a charcuterie board, but also so delicious for on-the-go food. If you love simple, organic, old-fashioned living, please subscribe to our channel. And please follow us on Instagram. We're at the Seasons of Living. Thank you for watching this video. Have a blessed day. And remember, if we can do this, so can you. See you next time. Bye-bye.